Hey, um, Tom Steveley. Um, I'm a guitar player, uh, local guy. Grew up, grew up, you know, here. Um, Madison was kind of a, you know, growing up, uh, it was kind of just basically five stoplights that uh, were in the way of where you wanted to go, right? It was uh, kind of like a, a transition point on the way to either Louisville, Cincinnati, Indianapolis. It was, you know, we. Growing up here was 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 good. It was it was a good place to grow up. But as a musician, you know there were three bands and there were two places to play, so opportunity was really limited. Um, I kind of I kind of started out, um, you know, listening to guys, uh, you know, like Daryl, and um, in, in in all that, you know, and, and kind of really, uh, you know, knowing that okay, yeah, this is what I want to do. But man, it's not going to happen here, is it? So, you know, Louisville, Louisville, Louisville seems, seems cool. So, you know, you, I, I guess I got in a, in a road band uh, that was based out of Cincinnati first and uh, got a chance to travel and got a chance to see some things. Um, ended up in, in, in Louisville in a band that was playing all original music. And uh, that was very cool. But uh, you, you bring that kind of thing. Um, at that time, I, I was playing a lot of heavy rock and roll. And you bring that to Madison, and you think it's a great band because it's got a good following in, in another town, and you fall on your butt, right? Because it's it's still the town's not ready yet, and you think you've got a really good thing going, and maybe you do, but you know you're not playing the songs that are that are on the top forty list. You're not playing the songs that people are accustomed to hearing, and it's it's clearly it's. The evolution is quite late. It's still, it's still the five stoplights thing. Um, that band ended up going to the West Coast, um, lived out there for quite a while, um, and ended up playing, uh, playing up and down the Sunset Strip, and uh, and, and that that was quite good. You know, uh, it was it was good to see more of the country. It was good to see more of uh, more, more different venues and everything. Life happens, and you find yourself. Uh, Thinking that maybe if uh, when it's, when it's time to uh, raise a family, have a have a child, that okay, it's probably Madison again, isn't it? And uh, so you you come back, you know, for me musically, reinvent yourself. You you gotta you gotta stay busy. So ended up um, playing a lot of country music. Um, you know, swore I never would, but really got to enjoy it, and it was it was really a good thing for me expanded me greatly, you know, musically. Um, met a lot of great people, played a lot, played a lot all over the region. And, um, you know, was still able to call this home. Um, and did that for an, an, a number of years. And then, uh, you know, all of a sudden, and, and very, there, this, this whole groundswell thing uh, of, uh, you know, the town kind of developing, um, I, I mean, I've lived here a long time, man. I've, I've seen this town die five or six different deaths and come back as something else. Um, manufacturing, no, that wasn't going to happen. You know, uh, historic and cultural, yes, but that wasn't all of it, was it? it it's it's this. It, it's going to be this. Um, this is by far my favorite incarnation because it's, you know, don't tell anybody this, but this has played right into my hand. I haven't had to do anything other than what I was already doing. This is this is the best secret I have. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, you get this great vibe going on and, you know, five or six different venues in the district that are really happening all the time. Um, I haven't done anything special. I've just kind of done what I've always done. Um, and I've looked for interesting gigs and interesting opportunities. I find that I really, really enjoy playing some of the funk and progressive blues that are going on. And, um, you know, every once in a while the phone rings with a great opportunity. And um, I've, got, I've got to be able to answer that call. Um, and that happens with a lot of regularity now. <clears throat> and it's great, you know. Um, it's, it's good to live in, in, a, in a place that's so culturally vibrant. And it's not just music, it's the visual arts too. I enjoy a lot of that stuff. Historically rich town. Um, 
great place to live, reasonable cost of living. Why in the hell would I go anyplace else? I mean, this is played right into my hand. Um, it's a great example of being dumb, but um, just being in the right place at the right time. And I guess sometimes everybody needs a lucky break. I've resided and, and played in, in a lot of the major music cities around, around uh, you know, the U.S. And, and I really, I would, I, that's always the, the measuring stick, that, right? It's, it's the, the high watermark for me, I guess, would always be Hollywood, California. Um, and is so was that sustainable? Yeah, um, it, it has been. But even when I was there, it was on its way down because it's really fickle, right? The the whole the whole music thing. And when I was there, um, the Pacific Northwest was really blowing up, and at the same time, Nashville was really blowing up. And so, is is this sustainable? Well, this is kind of really a melting pot. We don't have, really have a definitive style of music here. We, we know what we like. I mean, there's there's pockets of alt country, there's pockets of uh, funk, definitely a, a, a huge blues vibe here. And then the roots music, the folk, right? Um, but we're not really known yet, yet, for any definitive style. Um, I guess we'll see what happens, but is it sustainable? <laughs> what else do we have? What, what else do we got? Um, yep, it is. My wife and I are traveling around and, and we, and we're down in Savannah, Georgia and we were talking to a guy and, you know, he saw like our license plate. Well, what part of Indiana? Well, you know, you would have never heard of it. Well, Southern Indiana. Well, man, I was up there a while ago and, uh, this dude was talking about, you know, going to different clubs and everything and, and, and seeing a lot of different diverse stuff going on. And it was it was funny because it was about here, um, which was which was great. And so the M3 thing kind of capitalizes on that. I love the fact that it's been built. To me, it almost feels backwards. Now I'm not I'm not a smart man, but we build. We don't we don't try to build um, the 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 infrastructure first. We, we build the culture first and the inf infrastructure is going to follow naturally and the infrastructure is going to be tough to build but we know that right now if we build the culture first and foremost the rest of it's going to follow in it that's that's really great that's a great idea um i'm glad that we've got a lot of really smart people working on this because i mean man i would have never been able to figure that out but you know todd michael uh, you know Bob Courtney and, 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 and the rest of those people involved in that. Pretty slick, fellas. Thanks. Um, and we've got some great musicians here, but none of us could have figured this stuff out on our own. We just want to play. And that's the greatest thing about it is this has allowed us that opportunity and allowed us to do it in a setting that's um, so good. And it's, it's such a great place to live, man, really. Um, I wake up every day and think I'm on vacation. Um, and that's awesome. That's, that's, that's really a great thing. We've got a lot of cool clubs in the district that are on board with this. You know, Mad Paddle, we've got the Red Bike, we've got the Tap Room, we've got, you know, the Thomas Family Winery, the, you know, the Riverboat Inn, all that stuff, and in the Broadway, and it, there's, in, in season, you can find great music any night of the week at those places. And that wasn't anything that we could have all done on our own. That's, uh, that's these guys that I just mentioned tying everything together. So, man, thanks, fellas. Um, it's very cool. Very cool.